Good morning, guys. How are you doing? Listen, today is Tuesday, June 5th, 2018, and uh, we're going to open the, uh, let's see, we're going to get around first silver price, and then we're going to open the charts right here. Okay, so right here we're on the silver price. Uh, see what it's doing today. <clears throat> it's uh, $16.39. It's still staying in that range. There's not really a lot to talk about silver right now, so I'm going to kind of move on uh, pretty quick right here into Bitcoin. Now, Bitcoin has been struggling the last few days to stay up in the 7,000s. Uh, it's been it made it up to 77.90 uh, there, uh, but uh, now it's back down uh, to uh, 73.81. Uh, it's having a hard time of it, really, to stay up in the 7,000s. Take a look at cryptocurrency market capitalizations. Bitcoin dominance is at 38.1%. We got $333 billion of market capitalization. Most of the numbers are in the red, except for Ripple at 66 cents is up 1.87%. EOS. $13.75 is in the green, too, up 1.59%. Uh, Litecoin, $117 bucks is down 2%. Bitcoin's down 1% at 7447 according to this chart. But actually, uh, that, that price is not Bitstamp. Bitstamp is 7383 uh, Let's see which coin is down the most. Cardano looks like it's down quite a little bit, down 2.47%. Uh, Litecoin's down 2 point, just over 2%. That's down quite a little bit at 117. So now let's take a look at the Dow Jones this morning. She's up 15 points on the day so far. Uh, it started the day down a little bit. Uh, now it's up, but it's not a big moving day. Today is a day where the Dow is not moving very much. Uh, if we go to the one-month chart here, uh, we can see that it's following a range uh, right around, uh, I'm going to say, 24,700 uh, or maybe 24,600. It's, it's, uh, it's following that range lately, going back all the way back to about... Uh, um, way back for nearly a month now it's been following that range uh if we go to the three months chart we might be able to even see it a little bit better now let's let's go a little bit more let's go to the six month chart well six months chart you can see going back to when the fed saved the market i'll call it save the market because we we were in the steep steep decline caused by uh, uh rising uh yields on the te u.s 10 year uh, we went into a steep decline. The, the Fed saved the markets right here, brought it up back up to 25,709. And what we've been doing is bouncing along at a level of right around 24,500, 24,600, right along in there on a mean average, you know, and uh, ever since. And uh, this is going to come to an end pretty soon. Uh, because I think around the end of this month, I'm expecting uh, something to happen. I'm going to talk about it in just a minute when we get to bonds. Uh, now, here is the oil price. Crude oil, sweet light crude oil, 64.49. It did exactly what I said it would do. I said if crude, if crude oil went over $70, that, that we would have production increases and wells would come online and stuff, and it would knock the price back down again. And that's exactly what happened. It did surge over $70, and it did come down. Now, this is, a, this is a very limited effect. This is a short-term effect. Looking out into the long term, looking out like two or three years from now, uh, that's not going to happen. It's going to surge past, and it's going to go right on up, and it's going to skyrocket to the moon. Uh, we're probably looking at $200 a barrel for oil, uh, looking out a couple years into the future. Uh, so don't go out there buying that SUV. 
I'm telling you, this is not the time to buy that, that expensive SUV with the big engine, with the extra big engine for more horsepower. Don't buy it. Uh, buy yourself a little Toyota Echo or something like that. A <laughs> gecko. <laughs> it's like a lizard or something. It sounds like a lizard. But go out and buy yourself a little Toyota with a little tiny four-cylinder, the tiniest four-cylinder you can buy. If you if right now you're facing a, a car decision of what to buy, don't buy the Hummer. Don't buy the Hummer right now. Uh, save your money and go out there and buy something that is super easy on gas. Go out there and buy the tiniest car you can buy right now because I'm going to tell you, you're going to, in the next two years, you're going to see gas price at the pump go up to uh, unreasonably high prices. And uh, you don't want something that's hard on gas. Now, bonds and rates. We're going to go back and we're going to talk about about what's going on with bonds. Right now, we're seeing the bonds dipsy doodling around. They're not really doing much. They're up one day, down the next day, you know, and they're staying in a range of just under 3% on the U.S. 10 year. Um, this is going to change. Come the end of this month, which is not that far away, it's only like three weeks away, this is all going to change. We're going to see a big change in these bonds. The bond yields are going to spike. What's happening is, is, there's pressure being put on these on this market on the bond market right now. Uh, we've seen a lot of buyers come in, uh, and then there's going to be a whole bunch more bonds come in. Uh, come uh, uh, when the Fed's going to raise it to raise the bar, and the Fed thinks that they're right on to raise the bar. I mean, they're this is looking good for them. This is actually looking good for them to even raise interest rates a little bit, maybe uh another uh, 25 point basis uh point re interest rate hike i think is going to be coming before the end of the year i think we're going to see one more uh this is going to be the can a straw that broke the camel's back you ever heard the straw that broke the camel's back this is the year this is the year of the crash uh and the fed is inducing this crash this is going to end these programs of the fed uh because i think we're in for a spike in yields uh, after the end of this month, I think we're going to see our 3.25%, and it's going to shock the markets uh, when they go to $40 billion a month. I think that's going to do it, and uh, they're going to go to $40 billion a month at the end of this month, and I don't think they're going to stay at $40 billion very long before the, uh, the, the yields spike. I think we're going to see a spike in, in bond yields, and so these guys that bought in, they think they're real smart right now. Because it's 2.92% on the U.S. 10-year, and, and they bought in at 3.1. They're thinking, hey, you know, I did good. Uh, no, they're not going to be thinking they did so good when the yields rise up higher than what they bought in at. Uh, and that's what's coming. We're going to see a spike in yields on these later. Later, It's coming. U.S. dollar today, 94.30. We're seeing a spike in the price of the dollar. Uh, now, I'm going to tell you, let's go back to silver for a second. We're seeing a spike in the price of the dollar, and we're not seeing a whole lot of an effect on the price of silver today. This is a very good sign. Very good sign. Uh, Italians. Italian bonds slide after the new prime minister. He, he's, he's made an announcement that he wants to do an awful lot of, uh, of, of, deficits, of deficit spending. He wants to do a lot of spending. He wants to overhaul the health care system in, in Spain. Uh, no, Italy, I mean. And, and he wants to over, over, overhaul the health care system. He's talking about a universal income or universal basic income. This is coming. Universal basic income is coming. Uh, for a lot of you guys out there, uh, your days of working are almost over. Uh, if you've got a... Uh, what I mean by that is if, if your job right now is a job that makes less than, uh, uh, say, you're at minimum wage right now, or you're, say, even $5 over minimum wage right now. Say you make $15 an hour, uh, $5 over minimum wage. Uh, well, here in, here's Canada, in Canada, it's $10 an hour. I'm not sure what it is in the United States. But say, say you make $15 an hour, your days of working are almost over. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to Crazyville, man. This is going to Crazyville. This this whole thing's going to Crazyville. It's coming everywhere. It's coming to a community near you in the next in the next 24 months. Universal income. <laughs> it's coming. It's part of the helicopter money plan. It's part of the hyperinflation. 
Uh, and basically, it works like this. You're going to make more money <laughs> quitting your job than you are at your job. If right now, you're make, if you're making $15 an hour, you're going to make 20 on the universe making a basic income. Staying at home. And what's coming, too, is, is weed. Weed's coming. It's coming everywhere. <laughs> so, basically, it's going to work like this. You stay at home and smoke weed, and you make more money than you do at work. <laughs> I mean, I have to laugh. I have to laugh, but this is the trend. This is the trend. Stay home and smoke weed. <laughs> this is this is <laughs> I mean what why I laugh is I'm picturing in my in my mind somebody trying to fly by grabbing his bootstraps and lifting as hard as he can. It doesn't work. Well this basic universal income with everybody staying at home and becoming absolutely nothing, doing nothing, is not gonna work. Ultimately in the in the long term, you can't make people rich by giving them money. Money is an assessment of our work. And if there is no work, the, money, the assessment of the money goes down the toilet. We're talking hyperinflation here. Uh, there's no other way. If they start to actually implement this, and they're going to, this is going to destroy the fiat currencies. And there's only one place to run when the fiat currencies are there's going to be a massive move into cryptocurrencies um, and gold and silver. It's going to be massive. And the people that don't have any of that, at a certain point, you're not going to be able to get any because all of it's in limited supply. Uh, cryptocurrency is in, is in the good stuff, like Bitcoin, Litecoin. It's in limited supply, and so is gold and silver. And once everybody's grabbed it all up, uh, in your mind, the way to picture this is picture a picnic, Okay. And at the picnic, they've made a big table for everybody. Now, there's a 1,000 people coming to the picnic. They haven't got here yet. But on the table, you've got pies and you've got cakes and you've got stuff that the women's league that works for the church has made all this stuff on the picnic table. And it's a lot of food, and they got it there prepared. Now, the pies are, are, the, are the gold, you know, and the fried chicken is the silver, and it's all on the table right now. You can have some, right? And there's a big pot uh, full of cooked corn, you know, and it's got like a thousand years of corn in it. And it's it's brewing there, and, and you could have that too, because you're early to the picnic right now, and the crowd hasn't arrived yet, right? What's going to happen is, is that big pot of corn, that's the cryptocurrency. So right now you can have some of that too, because you're early to the picnic, and you can have anything you want, right? But when the big crowd comes... You're going to have to stand back. It's going to be a rush. It's going to be like it is on that, what's that day every year where they all come in and try to get the stuff in the stores, Black Monday or whatever. It's going to be like a Black Monday crowd, and they're going to come in. They're going to eat all that corn, eat all those pies, and eat all that fried chicken. And you're never going to see anything disappear so quick in all your life. And then there's going to be none left. This is the gold, silver, and cryptocurrencies when the fiat currencies go down. It's going to be like that mad crowd coming in, just tearing at everything and not caring what they pay for it. So you're going to see the price actually go. You're not going to be able to measure the price anymore in fiat currencies uh, when that day hits. And it's going to hit suddenly. But right now, we're early to the picnic and all the food's available there. And it's a buffet. You can have all you want. You want, you want silver? As many monster boxes as you want if you've got the fiat to pay for them right now it's just like the picnic being early to the picnic anyway listen i'm rambling a little bit uh let's go to zero hedge right here and take a look at this it says world's biggest hedge fund and it says we are bearish on almost all financial assets we are bearish on financial assets as the u.s economy progressed toward the late cycle see we're in this late cycle we're in this late part of the of the credit cycle right now this is we're getting ready for the collapse. That's the part that comes next. And then we're getting ready after that for the support to come in. And when that support comes in, that's when they're going to implement all these programs like universal basic income and et cetera. So your days are working before the madness hits. During the madness hits, you're going to go in, you're going to show your papers to show you you're a citizen. And they're going to put you right on the universal basic income. You're not going to have to work if you've got a cheap job. Where does all this end? It ends in a crisis. 
because the money that you're gonna they're gonna be giving you is not gonna be worth the paper it's printed on, ultimately. And so again, you're gonna be right back to to all roads lead toward uh toward it going back to real money. That's where all roads lead. And so he says that uh, U.S. economy progresses toward the late cycle of the credit cycle. Uh, liquidity has been removed. That's the Fed. They're sucking the liquidity out of the system. It says, and the markets are pricing in a continuation of recent conditions, despite the changing backdrop. What does that mean? That means that the markets are going along roughly level, while everything's been pulled out from underneath them. It's just like Wile E. Coyote running out over the end of the cliff, you know, and he's in the air there, and he's got the little sign he puts up and says, help, just before he falls. That's where we're at right now. So listen, thank you guys for listening, uh, and we'll be back to see you again very soon. Bye-bye.